Hello, <laughs> welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, thank you so much for joining. It's only been about a couple days since I uploaded my first mechanical keyboard video here on the channel, but something really exciting just showed up in the mail today and I can't wait to unbox it with you guys. Yenzi Keyboards gifted me one of their keyboards and I appreciate you so much for letting me try out your products, but also fueling my new and growing addiction to mechanical keyboards. <laughs> As always, all opinions will be my own and this time very limited opinions as a beginner to the keyboard space, but regardless, <laughs> if you are interested, I will still link the keyboard below. Let's do a quick unboxing to see what's included and do a typing test. So let's check out what is in the box. It just comes in this very simple Yenzi packaging here. And diving right in. We get a, what is this? Are these the switches that they used? Oh, no, it is a postcard. It's a cute little thank you postcard and then a notebook as well that's included. That's adorable. And getting back in, here is the keyboard. In the box, you do also get this card with the keyboard specs and also some button mapping that's already pre-programmed into the keyboard and your lighting effects. You also get a keycap puller, a switch puller, and of course the USB-C cable as well. Now for the keyboard itself, there it is. This looks amazing, you guys. The KC84 is a 75% layout keyboard, which by the way, if you saw my last keyboard video, that one was a 70%. So the 75 just essentially adds the function row at the very top. So imagine a full-size keyboard, a typical one that you might be using and just take out the numpad on the right. So now as for the keyboard itself, I did go with the Gatoron red switches, as you can see right here. You do have the option of choosing black for another linear or a tactile brown and a clicky blue switch. I did get the brown switch for my first keyboard, which is a tactile, and I was really interested in trying out a linear switch, so I went with the red ones. and. It's supposed to be really good for gaming as well because the actuation is pretty light on this which means it will register your key presses faster than another keyboard might this is also a hot swap board which of course i love a lot because as a beginner it'll make it really easy for me to try out different switches without having to worry about soldering as someone who is very new to keyboards i am looking forward to trying out different switches to figure out which one is best for me and having a hot swap board will just make it very easy and accessible to be able to pull these out and put in any mechanical switch of my choosing so it is powered by a usb-c cable and it's routed through this little indent here but i am wondering if that might get in the way for people who use custom cables and you get these flip up kickstands as well do give a little bit of a lift to the keyboard but i typically prefer my keyboards flat on the desk but that is all down to personal preference of course and right away you are able to see one of the lighting effects i'm gonna grab the light so that you can see it better as we saw with this card that was included in the packaging, there are preset light effects that we will shuffle through in a second, but there is a software as well that will allow you to program your own lighting effects, but also record your own macro settings for people that rely on that function. Here's a closer look at the board. This keyboard is also Windows and Mac OS compatible, so for anyone who is looking for one or the other or possibly use both, 
this keyboard might be a good option for you. Let's see how it sounds out of box with a quick typing test, my favorite part. Okay, so on first impressions, I think that, you know, it is a really good looking keyboard. I really enjoy this colorway as well with the white, black, and orange accents. As some of you might know, I really enjoy retro gaming and retro tech. And this colorway really reminds me of old computer keyboards or even typewriters, so I do enjoy the look out of box. Now typing on a linear switch is a very different experience from the brown tactile switch from the previous keyboard. This is also a cherry profile. Cherry profile just basically means the keycaps are all the same height, whereas a typical keyboard will have some sort of slant, just because it feels more natural with how your hand rests while you're typing. Now if we flip up the kickstand, it does help a little bit and it lifts it up. It does lift it up enough to make it comfortable, but I think I would definitely be using a wrist rest with this keyboard. I also noticed that the stabilizers in this one is quite rattly, so definitely something I will have to go into eventually and modify. I am looking forward to ordering supplies for my custom keyboard, and once that gets in, I will also do some fun upgrades to these pre-built keyboards. Well, that's it for another keyboard unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed. That has been the KC 84 and thank you again to Yanzi for gifting this to me. Let me know what you thought of the keyboard down below or if you have any other keyboards that you may want me to check out or even tips for my future custom <laughs> keyboard build that I'm really really excited for. So I am considering moving my keyboard content to my second channel so please feel free to check it out and consider subscribing. I will have it linked down below but it is also a featured channel in this channel. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and as always have a fantastic day and I'll see you next time.